hello. How are you? My ear, I just pulled an earring. I had repairs my second piercing, that little clear stone one. I've had them pierced forever and I just don't wear earrings. And I thought, I want them open again. So I shoved the earring back in my ear hole, earlobe, whatever. <laughs> But it hurt. I had to really, it was like a re -piercing. But it went through just a little bit. So I took that and just shoved it on through. I want this right here pierced. Maybe one day. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm, uh, I'll be honest, I've been struggling. I made an appointment with a, um, a therapist. I'm popping my knuckles. You're going to hear that. Sorry. I do that when I'm stressed. <laughs> So I made an appointment with a therapist and because I had to go, things in my personal life are really just eating at me and it, it's hard to process. I just needed a professional opinion and I mean, it kind of helped. And so, and then it got off on the topic of my, be, my being a star seed, a hybrid star seed. And she was more interested in that than she was what was going on in my life. Although we talked about both, but I was afraid that she was going to think that I'm crazy. And she even asked before and after if schizophrenia ran in the family. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm not schizophrenic. And I've been seeing visions, my whole uh, visions and uh, entities, all kinds, humans, extraterrestrials. I've seen them. Well, it back up. I've seen humans all my life, my whole life since I was between 12 and 14 and hearing them and knowing they're around started at 10 or 11. But my vision started around 16, 17, no, 17, maybe even 18. I'm trying to picture where I was at those, my age at those times so I can pick an age. Uh, my first, my first vision that I remember was 18, I think 17 or 18. And I don't, I don't know if schizophrenia starts that early. And if I recall, schizophrenia is really out there. They're really weird. Like they think spiders are coming to get them. Well, sh <laughs> I shouldn't even said that because spiders appear in my room. But I mean, it's more abnormal things that schizophrenias go through. Did I say that right? Schizophrenias? Not sure. So I want to say once again, I'm sorry, I haven't done videos in a couple of days. I've just, my mental capacity has not been normal. It's been kind of altered. And I, I, I made a couple of videos, but I deleted them because I, I didn't like them. And that's my downfall. I'm kind of OCD about that. And I'm like, I don't like it. So I delete it. And I deleted it last night right before bedtime. And I'm like, I don't want to stay up late and do another video and edit it and put it out. So I'll just, I'll just do it tomorrow. And here I am. I went to go see a movie, uh, the Thor, the new Thor movie. It was pretty good. I kind of don't like it that they're more funny now. I don't mind it when it's funny here and there, uh, like the Avengers, you know, the little crack ups and stuff. But now it's got where it's funny all the way through the movie and kind of stupid in some circumstances. I'm like, really? I, I wish they would kind of change it back because I mean, I don't know. I don't know. That's just my opinion. I'm not right or wrong. I don't know. So I will tell you about my latest two visits. The first one came a couple of days ago. It was the, the being that was red with horns and my therapist had even said that the people she's talked to before and uh programs that she's watched on tv of real uh people that go through this what we're going through and she said that the horn being is often seen that is electrical looking and i'm like oh so i'm not seeing things but he came again in my bedroom doorway, but he wasn't so electrical this time. He was just kind of slightly red. I woke up to a sound. I don't know what it was. I rolled over. I knew what I was going to look at. I always do. I rolled over, looked at my door and there he was. 
And I know for a fact now that the beings that aren't good go to my doorway. And if I don't give them permission to enter, they don't enter. And he, I told him again, and he kept doing this, like he was trying to get through the door and he couldn't. And his horns would go right through the top of my doorway. And I'm like, you know, that's just really weird how they can go through things. And as you know, they do. But it looked like he tried a couple of times and I just said, you, you cannot come in, you, you, you gotta go. And I rolled over and went back to sleep. And then a couple of nights ago, uh, another visit. And this one is kind of odd. I have a clothing rack on my si on another side of my bed between my window and my bed. And I, I, I don't have enough closet space. So I have my jackets and coats and all that hanging there. And I have a few empty hangers. And I woke up to noise. And I rolled over. And I already think I was rolled over. And my empty hangers were swinging and that's what I woke up to and and they're plastic but they were noisy banging and then there was this what looked like a cat <laughs> a black cat was on the top of the rail and he was bouncing bouncing up and down going up and down and I'm like what in the world I'm just laying there I'm like what is that <laughs> and then it stopped and I put my hand out because usually they crawl in my hand and this time, this one did not. And I could see his ear, it was a little cat ear. And uh, when he would get in, moving, I could see his form. But I'm like, I've had a couple of cats in my life, but I don't think that was any of mine. I'm not sure, it could be. Uh, but it seemed happy, it seemed uh, good. And it, I mean, it was, it was a good entity, a being. <laughs> And then, um, and that was it. I can't remember if I included the insect and the bed thumping. I'll tell you uh, really quick what that was in case I didn't. Cause I, I do videos and I delete them and then I forget, did I upload it or did I delete it? I can't remember. But I woke up to something hitting on my bed and it was hard, it woke me up. And when I woke up, I looked and there was, what, this is gonna sound crazy. I don't know what a lot of these beings are or why they come, but an a, a, a entity that is actually either human or a extraterrestrial, whatever, they could transform themselves in anything they want to transform into. So when I opened my eyes, it looked like there was a stick on my bed and an insect was crawling up it. And I'm like, what? what is that? And it kind of looked like a praying mantis, but it was about maybe that big, maybe three inches, maybe, maybe a tad bit more. And I put my hand out and you can feel the tiny little legs grasping or touching all over the tips of my fingers. And I wanna say, I was so tired, it crawled in my hand. So I just laid my hand on top of the bed and I fell back to sleep. And I'm like, it'll crawl off and, and disappear. Yeah, that's, that's my last few visits that I, I've been meaning to upload, yeah. Those are the highlights of my life lately because I've been going through some really deep, dark times here the last few years. Talking to my therapist was, was actually good and she, she confirmed a lot of things about me being a hybrid starseed. Other than that, I, I haven't really done anything. I know I was gonna put my phone in the gimbal and take you around. I may do it tomorrow. I had to get out of the house today. I went to go see that movie and go see the therapist, so. Getting outside helps me quite a bit, and that's what I do sometimes when I feel low. Yeah, I, I wanna add also, I had said recently in one of my videos that my heart was messing up when I wasn't feeling well, and it's back again. And it like, it's painless, all painless. And I used to have these episodes years ago before I think my extraterrestrials fixed because there for a while it didn't happen. But years ago, it would like flop. And that's it. And I probably wouldn't feel it for a month. But here lately, it's doing it right now. It does it at least 30 times a day. I don't know what it is. I see my doctor on the 26th and I'll bring it up to her. But I've had tests in the past and they all come up with nothing. Uh, but like I said in the past, uh, I failed the EKG once, but the stress test came out fine. But it flops a lot during the day and it feels so funny. 
But if there is something wrong, I'm willing to do tests and everything just to see what's wrong. But if it's something I have to have surgery for or something like that, I won't do it because I'm, I'm ready to go home. It sounds bad, but Earth is hell. Earth is hell, I will say that. And my age, I'm older, I'm 53, and I'm not ashamed to say that. But I'm, I'm ready to go home. Uh, this life has been hectic. It's been nothing but hate, abuse, neglect, and this is just my life, not not everything around my life. It's just my life. And it's very stressful, and I've had enough. And when I was 16, I had enough and tried to unalive myself and had a near-death uh, experience. And I hope I don't get red flagged because I said that. Yeah, I'm ready to go, so... But, I mean, I'm ready to... Do, I'm, I'm ready to do the test if that's what needs to be done. Uh, just so I'll know and see what's going on. But other than that, that's all That's all I got to say. <laughs> I love you guys. And um, I don't know if I deleted the last video that I did about uh, a gift that somebody is sending me that I'm going to open on camera and show you. And I'm going to ask her permission to put her name and her little business link in my um, in my description. That way, if any of you would like to buy something from her, that you can, and you probably will. So, I love you guys, and thank you for being so patient with me, and I'm sending you love, light, and peace. Bye.